before so know which ones to pick yeah I got this as much as I want to believe you your face says otherwise <sighs> good thing you've got me here sort of reminds me of when we picked flowers for the leaf house couldn't hurt. Wow, these smell heavenly. Definitely the right choice if you want something fragrant. All right, that should probably be enough. Let's go give him to Chloe. For you, I just so happen to be a florist. I'd be more than happy to help you put one together. Really? We'll make two. Right, Cloud? Sure. Look! It's just like Mom's. But this one's all yours. Yeah, I didn't think I could do it. But I did. You two are the best. 
I couldn't have made this without you. Yeah, you could. Believe in yourself. Thanks. There's something I can help you with? Oh, Billy! Here, for you. Chloe, did you make this? Uh-huh. <laughs> Thanks. So? <laughs> Cute, don't you think? Yeah. Cute. <laughs> <laughs> Starting to work. I thought you were here to fix them. <laughs> uh, never mind. Yeah, we're more like demolition experts. So unless you want us to blow something up, how can you make jokes at a time like this? It's downright distasteful. Uh, anyway, what's going on? It's the Mako pipeline. It sprung a leak. I paid a wandering merc to repair the thing, but then she up and ran off with our money. A merc? Some hotshot from Midgard's Undercity. She made quite a name for herself then. Or so she claimed. I bought it hook, line, and sinker. <sighs> you don't know the Merc, do you? Regardless, we still need help, so... Perhaps you could do the repairs? It's your standard Mako pipeline, really. Carries a portion of Midgard's yield straight to us. We'd be lost without it. Hence, my anxiety. We need it fixed ASAP. Our tank's got some left, but we'll soon be running on fumes. It makes me sick to my stomach to watch our supply slowly dwindle like this. That's rough, man. But hey, good opportunity to wean yourselves off that poison. <laughs> okay, now that one was fun. Our town technicians laid up in bed at the moment. Recovering from a fiend attack. We asked Shinra to send someone to fill in. Anyone who knows the work. But we haven't heard back. I understand Midgard takes priority. But still... You will. Capital. Oh, I haven't introduced myself yet. I'm Fritz Bellinger, mayor of Kong. I sent that no-good merc to the warehouse outside of town. Head there first. And finish what I hoped she at least started. We are working as hard as we can to get the power Earth grid back red, online. But I think you're, you're the, the only one who... Who... Find a 
few scrap heaps near the pipeline. Rummage through those for materials. And I think that about covers it. Thanks and good luck! <sighs> You can fix this. Company! have done a real bang-up job out there. Tank's practically full again. I don't think our supplies ever been this good. We've more than enough for our needs. Don't know what you did to that pipe, but thank God you did. Here, a little something for your troubles. 
Please, I insist. Just make sure it doesn't happen again, all right? I bungled a Queen's Blood match. Hard. So, not only did my ego take a licking, but I lost a card near and dear to my heart. What I'm getting at is, I think you'd be able to win it back for me. The Chocobo and Moogle one. It's rare, and the one high-value card in my whole deck. It was the only thing getting me through the daily grind. I mean, the bullshit I have to put up with at this job. The fights, the late nights, the drunks, and that slimy bastard. He... He's... Stumbling. Hey, I get it. I'm a bartender, too. You... You are? So then you know. You're so tough, it can be... Oh, thank you. Thank you. But first, I gotta make sure I'm putting my baby's fate in the right hands. Mind if we go around?
Okay, that's the kind of skill I'm talking about. You'll beat Virgil, no prop. That's the guy you gotta play. The one who took my card. He works at the clock tower. Mind kicking his ass for me? And when you're done, come straight back. I'll have a special cocktail waiting with your name on it. Got this great recipe I've been itching to try again. The president will also be... Electric Power Company is celebrating the inauguration of Rufus Shinra. Many people. will have flocked to Junon for the chance to see his first official appearance as Commander in Chief. The President will also give his first public address, in which he is expected to outline. This avalanche is... Need something for the kids? How about... A <laughs> Here for the card you took from the bartender. Ah, the card. So, Vash has resorted to this, hiring people to win his games for him. <laughs> Fine, but word of warning, I'm not a pushover like some folks. Damn, I really lost? It was one hell of a match, though. Am I right? You and I are definitely gonna have to play again sometime. But, uh, not today. Gotta run. Hold it. Aren't we forgetting something? 
<laughs> right, the card. The one I won off Fash, right? Oh, shoot. Which card was that again? Oh, crap. I remember. The Chocobo and Moogle one. So this is kind of awkward, but I don't have it anymore. Is that so? No, seriously. I, I flipped it. I was on my last gill, so I had to sell it to a card collector. A guy named Thorin. He runs this card shop outside of town. Maybe check with him? A merc's job is never done, am I right? Selling. We're here for the Chocobo and Moogle card. Of course you are. Hate to break it to you, but ain't no way I'm giving up that butte. At least, not to some dabbler who fancies himself a collector. Unless you more than dabble. Tell you what, you beat me, and that card is all yours. So, you game? Then bust out those cards, boy. got some serious skills, son. Joke's on me for thinking otherwise. Deal's a deal. Here's your card. But next time you go up against me, I'll be bringing my A-game. Welcome 
to call. Where you at? Quit slacking. All right, team. <laughs> you did it! You got my baby back! To be honest, this isn't the first card I've lost. And considering just how many I've lost, one this rare is definitely wasted on me. Here. It's probably better off with you. Really? But only until I've gotten good enough to win it back. Whew. That's a weight off my mind. Right, enough of that. How about I fix you two your drinks? So, this guy moved here recently from Midgar, left after the Sector 7 tragedy. You know how it is. Anyway, he kept raving about this incredible cocktail served at a famous bar in the Undercity. Seventh Heaven. Don't know if you had heard of the joint. They called it the Cosmo Canyon. Pretty, don't you think? Go on, drink up. Thanks. You know, that was just what I needed. Knew you'd like it. Although, apparently, my version pales in comparison to the Undercity original. So much so, the guy flat out refuses to order it again. Pinch of salt. That'll give it the kick it needs, trust me. Salt, huh? Hey, okay, that's pretty clever. Yeah, maybe I'll try that. Wait, don't tell me. You're the one who invented the Cosmo Canyon, aren't you? You're that Seventh Heaven bartender! Not today, but someday soon. When we do open up a new place, swing by. I'll make you a Cosmo Canyon myself. <laughs> okay, but I'm holding you to that. I'll be there opening night with bells on. Promise. The Shinra Electric Power Company celebrates the inauguration of Rufus Shinra. Many people have... See Shinra hasn't got you yet. Seeing as you're here, mind help me with something? I'm Oliver, by the way, owner of this farm. Got fiend trouble. Every night it comes after my livestock. At least I assume a fiend's to blame. And you could find and deal with it. The ecosystem here is something special, worth protecting. Don't want Shinra messing it up. I'm not afraid to say so out loud. One day, some like-minded folks came around. They put me in touch with Broden and Avalanche. Impressive the way that committee is able to connect people. Appreciate it. That your dog there? Might have a pet him? I don't. But he might. Who's a good boy? It's you! <laughs> <laughs> Something tells me he's not all bark. Hey, you know, your pup might be able to track the fiend's scent. Maybe try sniffing around the scene of the crime. Several days since the attack, so the scent isn't fresh. Other animals have come and gone as well. This won't be easy. Hmm. Think a chocobo could handle it? Hmm. Their sense of smell is indeed impressive, but this trail is still quite poor. Though if you wish to try, I won't stop you. Still have a faint impression of the scent. Together we can find the beast. Hmm. 
You're dead. No. There was a struggle here not long ago. I can help guide the bird, ensure it doesn't stray. sense of smell. Since my imprisonment in the Shinra building, it hasn't been the same. Before, I wouldn't have had any trouble tracking that scent. Now, though... <laughs> Perhaps this bird is willing to take on an apprentice.
the portal to make sure they've got plenty to eat. Got him, did you? Made that bastard pay? Let's go. And I bet you were a big help too, weren't ya? <laughs> <laughs> You'll be singing a different tune when you see what I got for you. Here. Don't worry, I didn't forget you. Changing gears a bit, but uh, I heard Brody's not feeling so hot. If you swing by calm again, mind checking on him? to shake Shinra. We heard that you've been feeling under the weather lately. Word gets around fast. I didn't expect you to worry about me. But since you're here, can I ask you a favor? A friend of mine wanted me to help her fix one of the old Republic windmills, but I'm in no condition to do that. Do you think you could instead? I think we should help. If not for him, we'd probably be back in Hojo's lab. You know, headaches and dizziness. Probably my misspent youth. Paying the price for it now. Hindsight's 2020. Headaches and dizziness, huh? Anything else? Sometimes I hear voices, I guess, calling for me, urging me to go somewhere. Sounds pretty crazy, saying it aloud. I was a company grunt years ago. But when my parents died, I got out to take care of the family business. Been running the place ever since. I'll spare you the grisly details. And just say they stole my life from me. My family. My home. Is that reason enough for you? But I thought Calm was your home. Not anymore. This isn't the Calm I grew up in. My Calm was destroyed by Shinra. And this, a soulless imitation. But I stayed, because I won't let myself forget what those bastards took. <laughs> Living in hate can poison a man. Thank you. My friend's name is Mildred. You should be able to find her somewhere around the old settlement, out on the cliffside. Look for the windmills. Did Broden send you? I'm glad for the company. Ain't she a sight to behold? A relic of the Republic of Junon. Shinra can't make them like this, let me tell you. I'm itching to scrape the rust off, get her moving again. 
Easier said than done, unfortunately. The rotor's missing a key component, one that's a bitch to find. Which is where you come in. I'm gonna need your help to get me that part. So, what do you want to know? We go way back. Like, way back. The two of us skipped town when we were young, you know? Thought we'd experience what the world had to offer. Eventually, we went our separate ways. He joined the military, and I became an engineer. Not through any shop, that's for sure. It's out of production, so you'll have to make it yourself. So, first things first, the transmuter chip. Once you got that squared away, it should be as easy as popping in the materials you need. Piece of cake, right? Step one was scoring a transmuter chip, which you did. So now we put that baby to work. As for the ingredients, you'll need to bag the Quetzal bottle, this rare bird, to get what you need. Not that anyone's seen it lately. Sure Shinra's to blame for that, too. But maybe you'll have better luck. Time to tap into some life springs. Yeah. Well, turned out he was a natural-born trooper. Was even handpicked to take part in a super-secret experiment. It wasn't long after that we lost contact. By the time we reconnected, he'd already put that life behind him. What experiment? Have to ask him, though I doubt he'd tell you. Certainly won't tell me, at any rate. Whatever they did to him, though, has something to do with his condition. I just know it. He's been to doctor after doctor, but all the tests come back inconclusive. So I'm digging through old Republic archives, looking for something that might help, something a doctor might overlook. Just hope I find what he needs soon. Windmill's counting on you, friend. Design! No Shinra knockoffs can compare to Republic ingenuity. Okay, time to see if she works. said you've got a world to see. <laughs> she just wants an excuse to travel. But I am overdue for a vacation. Think I've been working myself too hard lately. Rest would do you good. What is this terrible scent? It's reminiscent of Hojo's lab. <sighs> it's time. 
Time to go. To leave. You okay? It's just the degradation. Every soldier's gotta make their peace with it. Now you know why I can't see any old doctor. You're a soldier too, aren't you? Ex-soldier, actually. Didn't mean to scare you. The symptoms aren't always the same. And who knows? You might be one of the lucky ones. Right. Just don't take your youth for granted. All right? You only get one shot at life. And you can't let Shinra take it from you. You can't let them win. Inauguration of Rufus Shinra. Many people have Welcome to Call, where you can forget the troubles of Gather around, is folks! That business is looking for a new talent! Well, look who it is! Hmm? That's business? That's right, buddy! And right now, we just so happen to be looking to hire new talent. Say, since you're here, how about I pencil you in for an interview? Sound good? Ooh, yeah. Sign him up, boss. Of course. So you gotta He's get penciled? Pencil. Hell no. So, respective employee, first things first, what is your full name? Applicant has a rebellious disposition. Next up, I'm gonna need your employment history. Ooh, doesn't get much more prestigious than that, does it? Explains why you're so strong, too. As you know, we here at Beck's Business make a living by slaying fiends and keeping folks safe. If you were to join us, what sort of skills would you bring to the table? Oh yeah! I can vouch for him on that one, Mr. President! <gasps> this guy will mash monsters in seconds flat! Yeah, just like he did to us! Shoot. Let me just confer with my associates. Hey! What's if we up? can get this schlub to do all the heavy lifting for us. Our monster troubles are over, boys. After thorough deliberation, our council has decided to approve your candidacy. Congratulations! Congratulations! You candidate! Some might call you surly, but I can tell you're just shy. And I have full confidence your superiors will help get you out of that shell in no time. Welcome to the family. I'm your superior, and you're my superior. <laughs> We've got some big expectations for you, rookie. rookie. Okay, now that the formalities are out of the way, it's time for your first assignment. There's an old highway on the outskirts of town. Go on ahead and prep the battle while you're at it. We've got some uh, paperwork. You ain't serious about this, are you? Ain't I always serious? Insane? Never know. Could be a nice change of pace. You gotta start wearing a mask. Let's get to work. Hey, 
Hey, newbie! How's it looking over there? You done with our work? We ain't done shit! God damn it, was hoping they'd be dead. One, get up, for me!
It's not some sapling. One shot is free. But you, you lost your way after Blondie whooped your ass. We get knocked down. We don't cut and run. We play dead and live to fight another day. Business. More like bullshit. Now you're just falling in line. You ain't outlaws. You're in-laws. Boss? I don't want to be in-laws. Huh. Well, ain't that some shit? One taste of civil society and I almost lost my edge. Listen up, boys. Effective today, Vex business is closed. In its place, I'll be forming Vex Bikers, a band of outlaws born to rule the open road. Yeah, boss! Yeah, boss! Yeah, boss! Ready, boys? Then let's burn rubber! You got it, boss! Kinda jealous. Psych. <laughs>